Hey guys, Jake here, and I have a big LEGO City update for you guys. Um, as some of you may know, well, only closer friends will know, but probably some more people than that will know that I went to the LEGO store, grand opening today. Um, and I went open up in my city, I got really excited, and I went to the grand opening. It was awesome, I loved it. Um, and I got a ton of stuff. I made a store haul video, and I'll upload that soon. But first, I wanted to show you the new gem of the city here. Biscarhausen, yeah, I know you're gonna be mad. Um, I did think long and hard about your advice, but I put it in a place where it would look good. And I think I know why you were giving that advice to me. I guess it's so much taller than the Barnes and Noble. Yeah, I totally get it now. But I still think it looks pretty boss. Um, so I'll just give you a good look at the setup I made. There's the Series Nine cup. I love this. I love this set. Probably my, my favorite set ever. Okay, um, I'll show you the little rooftop scene I made on the cinema. When I went to the Lego store, I also found a $15 um, beach pack thing, which came with this Hula Dancer minifigure, Surfer, dang it, out of focus, Surfer minifigure, and another Surfer minifigure, the girl Surfer. Um, so I just set that up on the rooftop. I thought it looked pretty cool, so yeah. Um, here's the minifigure from the new City Surfer Rescue, which I also got at the Lego store. And what I got at the Lego store was obviously this awesome theater. Um, the the new Creator Treehouse. I was gonna get the Coast Guard helicopter too, but I didn't. Um, I'm probably gonna get that next time I go, or the new Creator uh, Family House. Um, the summertime scene, the brand new one. A free Iron Man, um, poly bag. It was like a promotion. I don't know what it was for though, but I know it was a promotion. Um, what else? Yeah, this beach pack here. Um, and in the, the build, a uh, three minifigure pack. Um, I'll show you that in my Lego store haul video, which will be uploaded probably tomorrow or the next day. And a LEGO store tour will also be up, w along with some pictures. So, yeah. Um, I'll take this roof off. Here. Ugh. It'll be hard doing it with the camera in my hands, too. Um, Palace Theater's pretty empty. Um, so, I'll just show you the first floor now. This is not part of, like, the second floor or anything. What this does, um, there's some of the robot arm pieces there and there's these little um round little clips and that clips into that so yeah pretty neat way how they did that and there's the little convention bleh, um convenient stand this guy here with popsicle about to go up um put that back on i'll just put the whole palace theater back on all right I probably can get some more modular soon. Um, I could probably save up money or get it for Christmas or birthday. So I could probably get uh, like a couple more, one more. I don't know. Ugh, dang it. Why is it so hard to get on? Uh, uh, this was not so hard to get on earlier. Okay. Now you, now you just got to watch me rage at the roof. Hmm. So, yeah, I got it back on. It's because I was doing it with one hand, probably. Um, here's the garage. I moved it. I need some road plates over there and a, a vehicle. There's the new location for the criminal hideout. Here we have the police station, as usual. The service station, along with the bike shop. It's like the same thing, even though I still need to set up. Here's a little parking lot here. I got the idea from this from Vic Production 78. Yeah, pretty good design idea. With uh, using a couple of road plates for that. So, I get credit to Vic Production 78 for that. Um, he voiced in my Lego Police Chase brick film, which everybody seems to love. 
I think it's probably my least favorite out of the ones. I mean, on May 17th. Sorry for the interruption there. Um, floating right now, storage. Um, here's the city museum. Pretty cool. City bank. I think I should put the museum here because it, it would be a better spot. I had the museum here at first, but then I moved the bank over there. And I don't think it looks as good, though. I'll probably change it back. I'm going to take a look of, of how these look um, right here in the theater and see if that looks good. And I'll keep it. Uh, nah. I'll just put it in a different part of the, of the back of the theater. Probably like right here. I just found that out. So I just thought I would try putting it on the theater along with this little thing here. Looks pretty nice. Barnes and Noble still not finished. Yeah, I've been really having a hard time with this. I have no idea what the heck this is. Probably a canceled custom project. Pizza parlor back here in the park. Here we have Molly, a character in my new upcoming Lego series. And I'll do the cast video on that soon. I need a certain series 10 minifigure in the series, and I don't have it yet. I'll I'll probably get it soon, but if I can't find it in a pack, I'll probably just buy it off Bricklink for like three bucks or something. If I can just not find it in, in the packs anytime soon, um, because I want to release that cast video soon. Um, so yeah, here's the memorial, a palm tree, chef, a little fountain here. I don't know what the heck this is. This was like a death to the hospital set. Mm, kind of a mess right here with my iPod. Um, filming with my iPhone right now um here we have the hospital here um I need to get more road plates my foot and yeah I just definitely need to get more road plates here's a little parking lot over by the garage random control tower that should be over by the airport over there yeah there's a train station and the airport which has no not going on it I really, really need to get in that. I really need to get the airport in, this, in a better spot because that is a really, really bad spot in my opinion. So, a lot of updates on this one. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope B Squacklehausen is not mad if you're watching this. Um, so, yeah, I just explained everything already. I hope you think it looks good because I think it looks great in my opinion. Um, I did think about your advice, and yeah, I, I said that already. Um, so yeah, guys, bye, I'll see you later.